let's talk about batteries. This right here is a 14S uh, 48 volt module, battery module made out of seven of these leaf battery uh, packs, right? As you know, the Nissan Leaf released in 2010 is the world's best selling electric car. Global sales total 380,000 units. Uh, by December of last year and nearly half of those are here in the United States So with so many cars on the road, there are a lot of these batteries floating around So how come I've never played with those you ask? Well They've always been too expensive. Everyone wants like more than a hundred dollars per little module They're really attractive. They come in these little canisters But there's not a lot of battery in there to justify for the price that most people want so I paid a visit to Tech to Red Club on eBay uh, in their local facilities here. And let me tell you, they have warehouse full and full of these batteries, right? These batteries come back from the manufacturer for one reason or another. So they are testing all of these batteries to make sure that they all have good voltage on them. And then they randomly test some of the modules. So they send me a kit to put together. So let's test one of these modules first and then let's build it into a 48 volt uh, little system put together so that we can run a 48 volt inverter All right, here is a Leaf module. These are made of pouch cells inside, right? But these are the metal canisters where they come they, they come with little holes so that you can stack them together You can put all thread uh, And then you can connect them together right so it's got three terminals because it's got two pouches so 3.7 volts plus 3.7 volts these are advertised as 500 watt hours let's capacity test one of these guys to see where they're at all right here's the setup i got this one we're only discharging one cell right and using this guy to discharge it and then that's a regenerative charging we're putting that energy back in here the reason I'm doing that is because it allows me to go kind of fast, right? I'm doing 16 amps right now. Let's do 25. Let's see if it'll go up to 25. 17, 18, 21, 23. There we go, 24. Which is crazy because that 25 amps only equals about 100 watts. Because uh, it's such a difference. Okay, so let's look at what the supply is doing. Look at that. So we're putting in about 5 amps into the uh, the Tesla battery. And we're taking off about 25 off of here. So at this point, should take about 2 hours. Let's see if we can push it a little bit harder. Let's go 30. This charger is smarter than the last version that I had, which kind of fried itself by me pushing it hard. Uh, I, this is a, a little bit smarter, so it will uh, prevent, you know, the MOSFETs from, from just destroying themselves. So there we go. It's discharging 30 amps. Uh, these cables will run warm, but they are rated at 40 amps, as they have a 40 amp fuse in here. So... At 30 amps, it'll be it'll be okay. It'll be fine. And uh, yeah, so let me push it up a little bit more. 33. Yes, this will this will go. I think all the way up to 40. I'm gonna do 35. That's it. All right. We'll see how long it takes. We'll come back and see at the end. All right. Here we go. So. This just finished and look at this. So it took about 66 minutes, just a little bit over an hour. Uh, it took 38.48 amp hours. So this module here is 38 amp hours. It uh, went all the way down to 2.5 volts. So yeah, that's pretty much all that there is uh, available there. So it's a 2.9 right now. It kind of bounced back up. So now I'll 
charge it back up to match it where it was before and then uh, yeah we'll put the whole module back together all right here the kit comes with a seven of these modules it's got the bms uh and then it's got these plates right here to put it all together along with some uh hardware you know screws and uh, all threads and stuff let's put this thing together first things the modules so you gotta pay attention to this positive negative so we do this positive negative positive negative positive negative positive that's you gotta make sure those are like that two screws we have to get this guy so we put this guy here and then here's the thing So of course at this point the BMS connections are pretty standard like any 14S BMS diagram pretty much looks the same. So you just have to follow that all the way through the pack. So now we just have to cover it. You just have to like cut in here. It's kind of beat up there, but last thing you'd have to do is connect the cable into the BMS. There are two thermistors. We get some captain tape, run one in this battery here, for example. Then the other one, I can run it over here. There we go. There you go. So I have any of those. Kind of a mess in there, but not to worry because look at this. We have a cover for that. And there you go. There should be power there if the MOSFETs are on. There we go, 54 volts. This battery here would be capable of doing about two and a half kilowatt, right? This is uh, about two kilowatt hour, and it'll do about two and a half. So a little bit over one C with this BMS system in here. So what do I think about these batteries? I think I think they're great. They're they're. Their form factor is nice. They come in these metal canisters that you can bolt together and then you can, you know, very easily put bus bars across, you know, seven of them and do 14S, which is perfect for 48 volts. Uh, that's the good stuff, right? The bad stuff is that they're still kind of expensive, right? Uh, $170, $170 a kilowatt hour or something like that. And the reason why they're kind of expensive is because the at least the ones that I got, uh, are like somewhere around 50% degradation, right? So 50% of the original capacity is gone. These were supposed to be 500 watt hours per module, but the one that I measured here is 38 amp hours times 3.7. That's 140 watt hours times two. That's 280, right? So that's 280 when it's supposed to be 500. So yeah, it's like maybe it's 60% something like that 55 60% so that's the bad right But there are tons of them right and so if you need to build something big and quick and you can you can 
order these and build them into large battery packs. Now this company is also, along with this system that I used to put it together, the plates and the bolts and stuff, uh, they're also designing bigger systems, right? This is the little two kilowatt hour one, then there's gonna be like a eight kilowatt hour or something like that, and then it all the way to like almost 14 kilowatt hour. And so they're working on these systems so that they're kind of plug and play. You you just, you know, you get them, you bolt them together, you connect the bus bars, you connect the cables and put the BMSs, and then uh, and then you can just charge them. You can, you can connect solar to them and then collect, you know, connect your inverter on the other side and then they're, and they're ready to be used. So there's definitely good solutions coming from them. So if you're interested in these batteries, I'll put the link uh, where you can get them down in the description. I wanna thank you for watching this video and if you haven't already subscribed, well, hit that button. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.